Well, in our continuing coverage of Quartzsite RV Tent Show, we are at the show again today, and today it is windy. So <laughs> it's going to be a test on the mic today to see how things go, but uh, it's going to be a windy day. The next couple days are supposed to be really nice, so it's just today that we got to worry about. Welcome to Tigner Adventures, this is David, and I am by myself today. Ninette is uh, taking some time off and gonna rest up because we have to work tomorrow and uh, all day for Cal-Am Resorts. So we're gonna be manning their booth. So today we are going to be looking into connect connectivity issues that you may have, or I shouldn't say issues, connectivity options that might be out there to uh, help us as full-time RVers be able to stay connected. Now, everyone's heard of Starlink, so you know that's there for sure. But uh, today we're going to be talking about some cellular options. Starlink is not here at the show. I've checked everywhere; they are not here, and uh, they're, they don't probably have to be because everybody wants them and they can't uh, keep up with the demand anyway. So, but uh, one thing I did want to say is that when you are, if you're going to be boondocking all the time then Starlink is a pretty good option because you typically are going to be away from everybody, away from the area, you know, away from town and everything like that. I mean, Elon Musk said that Starlink was not intended to replace everything. So once you get into uh, congested areas, then everyone wants to have uh, high speed. And so, you know, pretty soon it's pretty congested. Same way with the uh, cellular uh, systems, certain areas are more congested than others. So anyway, so we're going to be looking at uh, some options here because if you have Starlink, then they suggest that you carry a, some kind of wireless plan also. So we're gonna see what's available. All right, these guys right here, that's uh, your RV satellite headquarters. They actually do Starlink. They're actually the authorized installer for the in-motion Starlink. So the one that's really expensive, uh, the Starlink portion itself you still buy online. Uh, they also do WeBoost. Uh, so they have that option. They have satellite TV options available for you. They actually are located here in Quartzsite. And here is a picture of their card. Um, and so if you're out here boondocking and things and need connectivity, then they're the ones to talk to that are here locally. Verizon has two reseller booths at the show. Um, these guys are mainly concentrating on selling phones. That's what they're doing. Um, I did find out a little bit um, about they just have this little hot spot that you just like using your phone. There's no way to connect to it, no external antennas. They do have a home version uh, that uh, you do have to have a home address to order it. But then again, all the antenna and everything is all built inside. It sits in your house. So, you know, it doesn't get very good coverage because it can't get outside of your walls very well. I also, when I asked about getting you know, set up and everything, it's like every representative I talked to gave me a whole different answer as far as what the cost would be. And they, it, just, it was just difficult to understand how they actually had this set up. So I'm here with, it's called Insti? Insti Connect, yes. Insti Connect, all right. And I have Nick here who is the um, major contributor to this whole project, right? Because you're the boss? Well, yes, I came up with this idea. This is an idea that my family and I put together in Tennessee. We built this because so many people struggled getting internet on the road. So we decided that the best way to get internet is you can get it through the cell towers. And we created an antenna that would help you stay connected farther out. So a lot of people thought they were, you know, you could use your cell phone, use a hotspot, but they quickly found out that whenever you try to do that, when you get where we want to camp, typically the signal is pretty weak and it doesn't work very well. So we designed this antenna, and the secret is that we put the cell modem right inside hey, the antenna. Don't get too close. <laughs> so Thanks. inside here, we have our SIM slot. So you can load it up with two SIM slots. You can do one or two. You can bring any SIM from any major provider will work inside here. You can set up your data plan, bring it here, put your SIMs inside, you put one data, uh, one data cable in here, put this together, and then we tell you to put it outside where the signal is the best. You yeah. have one cable that goes down to our router unit, which goes inside. This talks to the cell towers. That unit inside makes your Wi-Fi. 
So okay. you can essentially set this up and just leave it on the top of your rig. So wherever you go, you make your own Wi-Fi. And because we make yeah. the modem in the antenna, it can talk to the towers like no other device can. And it talks to any any tower, any provider. Yeah, so whatever SIM you have in here, it'll talk to that provider. So okay. we're using AT&T SIMs here at Quartzsite, and so we're talking directly to the AT&T towers. But we also have like a Verizon SIM in the secondary slot. We can switch it over and start using Verizon then right here. And you can manually switch it or you can tell it to auto switch based yes. on criteria. Yes, so if you ever lose signal and your internet goes down, there's a little switch on the dashboard that will automatically switch the SIM card so it'll pick up the other service that you have loaded in. The antenna itself, you said it could mount on the roof. Uh, here's a, a picture of it just mounted directly to the roof. Here's a picture of it mounted on a pole. Um, so. But you're saying just being outside is the key thing. It doesn't have to be really high. That might help, but right. not necessarily. Right. Or... So when you have an antenna outside, you can talk to the tower like, like no other device can, right? So a lot of times people will take their phone and set it inside their camper on the table, and they wonder why they don't get such a good signal, right? Because it has to go through the camper and all of that stuff. When we have this outside, it can, can, talk, it can talk to the towers at a higher frequency where there's usually more speed that's more that's available to you. So that's why we built it that way. And let's let's plug your YouTube channel because you have okay. your own YouTube channel yep. and you talk about all these kinds of cool things, places you visited and everything, right? Yes, yes. So, so we started a channel in 2018 called We Can Explore It. And one of my videos that I did on there was talking about how to hook up an internet solution, you know, back in 2018. And it involved, you know, routers and fat wires and different kind of antennas and everything. It Not wasn't that easy stuff, to do. People don't even know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> a lot of people just came and were like, had tons of questions. And then so when we started meeting everybody post COVID that wanted a good, easy solution, we decided we we're going to put one together. And we started talking about it on our YouTube channel. It just kind of went bonkers from there, I guess. And he has lives on there. He shows how his whole garage is nothing but 3D printers. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> so. we have 16 printers going right now. Wow. It's going pretty much all the time. And, and you involve the whole family. Yes. Within the YouTube channel, you were showing places that you went that were very you're obscure. What's the word? Obscure? They're just way out there. Way out there. Yes, <laughs> way out there. Yeah. So, anyway, um, that most people didn't have cell service, but you could still pull it in with your modem. Right. 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 Because um, everybody thought that your options were either your cell phone or satellite. And I wanted to go out there and say, well, look, actually, there's a, another way to do it, that when you have this system, you can actually stay connected in more places than even a satellite. Because this doesn't really have to worry about trees. Um, you just kind of go set it up. There's towers pretty much all around the country. And so we like to go places where like Moab and Mesa Verde and Big Bend National Park, those places where people typically can't be connected and show you, well, actually cellular can connect out here and it works pretty well. Yeah, we probably would all be a little concerned about how many waves are flowing through the air and <laughs> all like, over the place. Yeah, right? if you actually knew. <laughs> right. Yeah, because <Yeah. laughs> right. radio waves are even coming out of your regular wiring in your house. So, right. I mean, radio waves come from everything. So we're being radiated from something from, from radio waves every everywhere. Every direction. Every yes. direction, yeah. Yep. So, well, that's pretty cool. Great. Well, um, I'm excited about it. I'm looking at this product because um, of that same problem. And I think this is a good... Um, option for RVers. A lot of people talk about um, the satellite one. What's that one called? I think Starlink. Sp yes. Starlink, yep. right? Starlink. Mm -hmm. So, but one of the problems with Starlink is if you don't have a picture of the sky, a good good view, then mm -hmm. you don't have connectivity. Right. And I I'm always concerned when in the plan it says you need to have a uh, internet, you know, a cellular plan also, just because of that. So. This helps eliminate that. I'm sure there's places that, or we don't know yet, you're gonna test this, right? You're doing some comparisons with Starlink and this to see some places they might work where you don't work or something yes, like that? Yes, we have one video that's done that did a comparison between Starlink and InstiConnect and we were outside of Davenport, Iowa and we ran a test and the Starlink was getting anywhere from two to nine and we were getting 80 to 100, right? And so there's, when, when they opened up and allowed everybody to come in, uh, it saturated their network somewhat and so now the speeds can be anywhere on Starlink, right? And so we have one. We wanted to be able to integrate our system with Starlink as well. So if you wanted to do a failover from Starlink to modem, you can definitely. So those do people that. that are working remote right. and want to park anywhere, right. 
this becomes a win-win in both situations. They get right. Starlink, mm -hmm. which they can turn on and off when they want to, right. and they have this when a particular cell plan, so right. whatever the cell plan offers them. Right. So a lot of people, what I've found is that when they talk about hooking their Starlink up, since our system, since you just set it up and essentially set it and forget it, a lot of people will just pull into an area and just use their NC Connect. And if they ever get way out into the desert and the NC Connect might be a little slower, then they go and deploy their Starlink. And Because Starlink was never me meant for metro. Right. 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 Too, too as, much saturation. As you get closer to a metro area, uh, the speeds go down. That's probably what we were running into outside of Davenport. Probably, yeah. So let, let's talk about the modem for just a minute. Sure. Um, we were talking about power just a few minutes ago. So have you looked at what the power consumption is on this and how that relates, you know, yes. those of us that are solar and just... So yes, that's a great question because this is the unit that you put power to. It can take 12 volts, actually can take anywhere from 9 to 36 volts. So we have one over there and we have it hooked up to a DeWalt battery and it's a 20 volt battery. But this takes typically less than one amp at 12 volts. So this draws anywhere from 10 to 12 watts. Um, some people were asking, you know, how much is the Starlink? And I'm not really sure. Someone said between 50 to 100 watts with that. So this sips the power really nicely and gives you a connection, you know, farther out without having to use up a lot of battery power. And this particular one, you have these RJ45 connections. They look yes. like phone connections for people yes. that don't know that. But it's a network connection, so you can actually hardwire devices that need to be hardwired. Right. Um, so there's three that you can put you know, computers and TVs or whatever you want as far as Ethernet connections. Then there's the WAN port where you can plug your Starlink or any other internet device right into and then use that as a failover port. Okay, and this is has Wi-Fi, so that's your Wi-Fi yep. wi router and everything right there. So, right. so the ones that don't want to hook this directly to 12 volts, I'm guessing it comes with some kind of a block or... Yep, yep. one of those power adapters, you can just plug it in. Plug it into yep. the wall and just, and just use it that plug way. Plug that right in. But yeah. if you don't want to use your inverter, this is a perfect yes. way to bypass that because there's always a draw. I mean, there's a loss in the inverter portion right. of it anyway. So this gives right. us a lot less. There's loss. probably a 12 watt loss in the in the inverter. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway. there's some kind of loss. Some kind of loss. Yeah, so, all right. Well, thanks, Nick. Thank Appreciate you. it. I was yes. I, said, I was telling Nick. I said you're Josh, right? And he goes, No, I'm Nick. And it's like, Oh, <laughs> I keep calling you a different name every time I come up here. That's so. okay. It's <laughs> too many people quite, at the show. Oh, there's a lot of people in the show. <laughs> so, it's a lot anyway. of fun, though. Well, thanks, and we can follow you on your YouTube channel. Yep. And then as far as them getting ahead of, I'll put the, the uh, website up there, but as far yep. as them ordering something. Yes, insticonnect.com. Um, insticonnect.com. You can okay. find, you know, all the kind of information. We have uh, our little video on there of how we put it together and all that stuff. So our YouTube channel's on there. The Insticonnect YouTube channel's on there where we put different videos on how to do band scanning, all the kind of neat things that the Insticonnect can do. Uh, we have a whole separate channel dedicated for that okay. and, uh, yeah. and then you do have show pricing yes right now right now right? Um, so that's here at the show yes once shows done then that goes away and it goes back up yes okay so All if right. you if you go online right now uh, you'll see the normal price our show price is here in person uh, it was our Black Friday sale that we ran last year Okay. Yes. All right. So if they're not here personally, then they can't get the price here. They have to be here personally yes. to get that price. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So we yes. just want to make sure everyone knows that. So, but anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that about covers it for connectivity. Not a lot of connectivity, surprisingly, um, here at the tent. It's just mainly Verizon. AT&T did not come. The Insta Connect um, looked the most promising to me. Uh, kind of covered all your bases. I like how it uh, would also tie into Starlink, you know, for if you want to actually tie both of those together. So um, no matter what you buy, it's going to cost a little bit to get going. It's really the data plans you're looking for. And I did talk to Verizon. Basically, it's any major carrier for InstaConnect. They said I can get a, a SIM card for $20 a month. So we'll be starting to try that out and test that out a little bit. I did purchase one. I'm going to uh, um, try that all out and uh, hopefully as time goes on then we'll give you a little bit of a update on that but uh, Josh or not I keep calling him Josh Nick you know they have that uh, YouTube channel so check that out if you're interested so anyway with that said that's all we have for today on connectivity uh, thanks for coming along hope everything's going good for you this is a darn windy day hopefully tomorrow will be a lot better and uh, we'll just plan on seeing you down the road and Ninet will be back with us tomorrow and so everybody have a great time and we'll just see you on the next video. So take care.